Zachary. Okay, campsites. No idea where the jump off sites are. We are here at Acre Campground. We're staying at Acre Jump Off. Um, we're in either campsite one, two, or three. So they are marked by little orange tent triangles. Um, so we picked this one. We're just unloading the gear now, and then two people are gonna go drive and leave one of our vehicles at the endpoint. And uh, tomorrow morning we'll get started on our canoeing. Everything loaded, and we're just hopping in the canoes at the Acre Jump Off on Grand Lake. I'm gonna this away from Saul. We are at our first portage, 50 meters. Um, shouldn't be too bad. We're heading from Grand Lake over to Stratton Lake. You're amazing. All right, we are back on this little river. We went around the dam. Um, yeah, that was super easy. It's also our shortest though, so we'll see how it goes. Coming up. Going? Not well, anymore. Part of the abandoned CN rail line. And here we are on Stratton Lake. This will be our longest paddle. Nice. Yeah, right there, yeah. I think that's what it is. Hey, careful not to. Yeah. Because the fish will be fighting. We are approaching our second portage. It's from Stratton Lake to. St. Andrew Lake? Yep. Yeah. St. Andrew's Lake. Um, it's just a 30 meter portage, so not long at all. Almost not worth having to uh, empty the canoe, but gotta do it. The canoe is um, getting some water in it, but not too much. I bet. Here's our portage. We're gonna avoid those rapids. Beautiful. Oh, where are we going? Oh, it's too bad we can't make it through those rapids. Yep. <laughs> I feel like we could just walk the canoe through. Just kidding. We're going over the rapids. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Graham, make it stop. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Can you take us over this part though? Or can you walk us over this or no? Holy crap, oh my gosh. Oh dear God, huh? Went to go help our friends Shane and Leah with their canoe and their stuff just to make it a little faster. And we're just chilling here in our canoe. We are now we're on St. Andrew's Lake, just coming around the little point here after the intended portage. A couple campsites along the side. We got some cliffs coming up to the right. It's uh, it's raining a little bit. Um, but not much, just kind of a gentle sprinkle. There's supposed to be thunderstorms this afternoon, so hopefully we can make it where we're going before that happens, or maybe there just won't be any thunder and lightning. That would be even better. Say, Leah, it's misty.
We are coming up to our third portage here. So this one is from St. Andrew's Lake down to uh, the bottom of High Falls. This one's gonna be our longest of the whole trip, 590 meters. Um, but thankfully it's just, just one long one, so it won't be too bad. This is gorgeous. All right, we have the portage on the left here right ahead and the rapids on the right. We won't try and uh, run these rapids. <laughs> Coming in for landing. Ooh, fish! So we just stayed a wagon today. Here we are on the portage. 590 meters. We're gonna do two trips. We ended up with a barrel and three bags. Um, so, Graham has the canoe in the barrel right now. And then he will come back and get two more bags. You guys are doing great. That's what we're portaging around. Man, Clara is doing amazing. Look at all she's carrying. Fantastic. You okay, honey? Okay, just pick it all up, baby. We can do this. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Wow. My pack is getting heavy. The straps are way too, that way too small for me. It hurts. But I think, I think, I think, I think we're almost there. Hey Link, uh, no, follow Lincoln. The arrow says up there and down. Yeah, perfect, keep going. You can, we're almost there, baby girl. You are phenomenal. Whew, this is tricky. Yes, we can. We can do hard things. We are the hill. Yep, yeah, it's still awful, actually. Can you help me get this off? They've been begging to go swimming since the moment we got here late last night. Oh, there he goes! There he goes! He's in! We are now hiking down to High Falls. We've left our canoes at the portage. And we're going to walk down and see what we can find. There's our first glimpse of High Falls. Ooh, that is so beautiful. So the trail to High Falls was a little tricky to find. Um, we kind of had to make our own way at some points, but we made it over. This is High Falls. It is unreal. So much power. What'd you guys think of the waterfall there? It was amazing. Yeah, there's a big beautiful waterfall and then we went up a little bit further. So much fun. And what did we get to do? Slide! Okay, we've just hiked over treacherous terrain, but we are here at the rock side. There was a waterfall slide. Yeah, there's like a natural rock waterfall slide. How was it, Link? Good. It was pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Hey buddy, yeah. how was that? Fun, but silly.
Grab that rope. We just got back to the portage from High Falls and that was so much fun. How much fun did you have there, Lincoln? Fun. Oh, it was so cool. Okay, here we are on High Fall Lake. Yeah. Here we go through the trees. So we just portaged 530 meters from High Falls Lake over to the Cascades. Um, so I think we're getting a little tired. How are you doing, bud? Good, but there's another portage right across the lake. Oh yeah, we're here and our next portage is literally right across the lake. Now we have a 50 meter portage right across the lake, so Linky's gonna swim across the lake. <laughs> there we go. Look at him go. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Way to go. This is the one. All right, here we are. Graham says, why didn't we just run it? Oh, I can think of one or two hard rock reasons there. We have a very short paddle to our next portage. Two more portages and then we're at our campsite for the night, but I think we're all really tired and just want to be at the campsite now, so we'll see how this goes. Look at all that slippery stuff. Oh wow, it's fun. Portage is done. Yeah. Over those cascades. <laughs> Good thing we didn't try and run them. We're just getting loaded up. And then we're going to paddle down the cascades a little bit further to our last portage for the night. Um, it's a 390 meter portage, um, so yeah, we're getting tired. Graham, see I have the rope around a rock there? Yeah. Okay, last portage of the day. Like portage number seven or something. Never portage. 390 meters. Lincoln was carrying the backpack the last few portages. Claire's back to it this time. Hey babe, you want me to put your water bottle in the backpack or are you good there? Okay. This is our very last portage of the day, thank goodness. We would have never planned to do it this way, but um, this is the only way the campsites were available. So it was seven portages today or not come. So. I'm very proud of these kids. So there are two sites on the Cascades. We have one of them. Um, yesterday when we talked to the rangers, they pointed out the two to us. Um, today we ran into some people who were also staying at the Cascades and they asked whether we wanted the closer site or the further site. Um, they said they didn't care. So we said, we'll take the closer one because that's easier for us. They said, awesome, they wanted the further one. But when we got there, they were in the closer one um, and they thought, that the other one was not part of um, the Cascades. So, um, yeah, I don't know whether they're wrong or the ranger was wrong, but somebody was wrong and we either have a 200 meter portage to our campsite still, or we don't really have a campsite because it's three portages back and we can't do that. So, um, yeah, we'll see. So, bad news, park ranger was wrong. Um, the next site is not the Cascades. It is the next lake and it is occupied. Um, good news, we don't have to do a portage. And also good news, the other people that are camped at the Cascades site that we thought we were going to said they have plenty of room and we can come stay with them. So thank goodness for amazing people. Super late supper, set up in the dark. 
Um, it's about 10.30, but we finally get to go to sleep. Yay. Good night. Good morning from Cascades. How's the water? You must test it. So yesterday was a tough day. It was a big day. We knew it would be, but uh, it ended up being a little bigger than we expected. We have seven portages and we got to play at High Falls. Beautiful sight here on Cascades. Uh, we actually got here late and there was another group already here. Wonderful people here. <laughs> let us come stay on their site. On their site. It's nice and big, so there's room for all of us, but it was still very, very nice of them. So thank you again. Yes, thank you. So we had supper at about 9.30 in the dark, got to bed, but we had a good sleep, didn't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice sleeping and a big breakfast. Mm -hmm. We got to have bacon and eggs. Today we're going to, we have three portages. Um, none of them are too big. And then we get to canoe through the Barren Canyon. Cool, okay. all right. All right, we're packing up the canoes at our Cascades campsite. Our people who let us share the campsite left a little bit earlier, so we're just getting the gear in, and then we have a portage pretty much right away. We're coming up to our portage. We've been paddling for about 10 seconds, <laughs> and our 200 meter portage. Also this morning, Graham patched up this little that was in our canoe by Clara. So the dent there, that was full of air, is gone at the moment. And hopefully it'll hold and we won't have any water in the canoe today. Hey Clara, what's up? Um, just holding us in place until my dad can get in. We just portaged onto Brigham Lake and we're gonna canoe down here for a little while. I think our next portage is around Brigham Chute, so you guys excited to see a waterfall today? Hey there's yeah. a water snake right below us. Water snake, ew. Crab Probably. Yeah, I just watched Why does it take the pirates like me so long to learn the alphabet? Why? Because I. Because me spend so long at sea. <laughs> so we're in Brigham Lake. It's a beautiful spot here. And we are approaching our next. Portage. It's a hundred meter portage. Um, I don't even know where it goes. It goes to the next place. Straight ahead. Let's go. All right, we're at um, the Brigham Lake portage out. Um, it's not marked as rapids or falls, so we're gonna try and just go through it. Graham might just get out and pull the canoe through. Um, yeah, save us some walking and portaging. Paddle this side. On the right? Graham's helping us along a little bit. Not too much. Oh, what way now? To the right? Right there. Graham will go and help our friends here. <laughs> so we'll still have to wait here, but we didn't have to get out. Kids are swimming through our next portage. Well, if we have to be portaging, this is a beautiful place to do it. So we are just coming from Brigham Lake, down the portage, past Brigham Chutes. Oh my goodness. Not the easiest portage, but very, very fun, very cool, beautiful views.
we finished our final portage for the day and we are now on the Barren River. We are coming up to the Barren Canyon, I think uh, shortly around the corner. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. We are right up at the wall. First pitch starts right here. Right at the track. Oh, you're planning a route up? to paddle through the Barren Canyon, which was incredible. Uh, the first section was really tall, and that was nice, and that was kind of like a second section, um, and the walls were just straight up there. That was, yeah, beautiful. We picked the third site after Barren Canyon. Um, pretty great site. There's room for both of our tents and places to sit. <laughs> So when you're backcountry canoe camping, oftentimes they have bathrooms for you. However, these bathrooms are not necessarily what you're used to seeing at a car camping campground. This one is really far into the woods. We're here! We're here. At the surprise! Okay, don't step in the mist food. No, excuse me. Here are the surprise. Welcome to the bathroom! This is the bathroom. It's called a thunder box. It is a hole surrounded by a wooden box. And where flies. you do your bathroom business. Alright. This is your first fish, honey. Hold the fish. Hold the string. Fishermen do. Okay. Wow! Good job, yeah, yeah, yeah. please! Buddy, good job! Go. I was going to a minnows, but... <laughs> <laughs> going for minnows and he fish. caught himself a fish. I just cast it like this. It went far. I saw it jump. Oh, really? And it was hard to onto the thing. That's incredible. It's like it jumped right into your hook. Alright, it's time to go swimming. Okay, I gotta jump in. Okay, here we go. First time swimming in on this trip, eh? You guys went swimming. You might be fine. Well, now it's your second. Snake catch a minnow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, guys, this is there it goes. There we go. Right here. See the uh, fish and carry those edges one hundred. Or in the no, no, he did. Oh. That was pretty cool. What a neat thing to see. We found a big branch to burn. Yeah. We had a fire. It rained during the night, but it wasn't it wasn't raining at all while we were awake, so that was good. And yeah, now we're off for for a leisure canoe ride today. We have two nights at the site we're at, so we got to leave everything set up today. So we had a wonderful morning just hanging around our campsite, and now we are going to go check out Baron Falls and Shoots, and we're going to see if we can do a little bit of swimming there. It has turned into a absolutely gorgeous day. Great. 
Barren River Portage, 420 meters. This time we don't have to portage it, we'll do that tomorrow. Right now we're just going to walk down and take a look and maybe go swimming in the rapids. Yep, yeah, this will be our portage tomorrow, we can scope it out now. Our only portage tomorrow. Woo -hoo. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my god. Link, wow. hold on. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> it looks like a tropical rainforest or something. Yeah. Linky, show me it. what you got. Hot. Woo! Don't, don't pinch him too tight. Move it. Move it. Go. So we're just playing at the waterfall, playing along the river, finding ourselves little ways to get down. Oh, I love it. So much fun. Oh my gosh, this place is so cool. So I'm just exploring down the river a bit. And I came to this waterfall. This has been so much fun. This is gorgeous! We're paddling back to our site after a day of adventure. Uh, it's fine. Wow! Ooh, way to go, Mama! <laughs> Alright, last day packing up the tent. We have a couple hours of paddling and then we are going to do the hike to see overlook at Barren Canyon, so that's pretty exciting. Are you excited about that, Linky? We are packing up camp for the last time. We are <gasps> heading out today. Hi. We are going to canoe over to the Barren River Falls and Shoots again, where we were playing yesterday. We think we have, what, 450 meters? And then canoe to Squirrel Rapids, where we have a car waiting for us. Sound good? Yep. Yep. Yeah? Awesome. All right, let's pack up. Last portage here. Graham is unloading the canoe. Then we'll walk everything over.
We just finished hiking the portage. It was a very bumpy one, and now we're gonna hit the water again. We're packing up now after our last portage. Um, we're doing really well. We're about an hour ahead of like worst case time where we want it to be, um, which will give us just more flexibility on the other side. Graham's just throwing in the last couple things. And then I think we just have a couple of kilometers to paddle to Squirrel Rapids. Well, our canoe trip is coming to an end. That is the road ahead of us, and we're almost at the overnight parking. So our van will be waiting for us just ahead. There's the parking lot. Woo woo. <laughs> Did it. Oh, I'm gonna get in the bushes here. How was it, lady? Yeah, it's amazing. Glad we went? You'd do it again? Sure. <laughs> sure. Someday, eh? Hey, no growling. Oh, you're a bear. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, you can growl if you're a bear. We have everything jammed in the van. Here at Squirrel Rapids. Almost everything. It's gonna work. And now we're going back to Acre to get the other car. I took the tiny stuff for you. We are all packed up. Everything is jammed in here. Mommy. Nice and cozy <laughs> uh, here at Squirrel Rapids. So we're gonna drive over and get the car that we left at Acre Campground. We are back at the Acre Campground. Uh, we just came to pick up the second car. Had a nice lunch here at a picnic table looking over the lake. And now we are heading out. It has been such an amazing trip. The weather has been great. A little bit of rain today, but it was nice and warm. Mm -hmm. uh, it, yeah, it was great. What did you guys think? It was amazing. We saw a lot of snake too. Mm -hmm. It was outstanding. Oh, and on the drive here, we saw a moose <gasps> on the road. Finally got to oh. see one. That yeah, was mm -hmm. cool. First one in my life. Mm. Did you guys have a favorite part? Oh, probably the waterfall yesterday. Mm. Yesterday? Oh, yeah. 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 What was your favorite part of our trip? Hmm. Swimming. Swimming? Swimming? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Without the water snake. <laughs> Without the water snake. <laughs> well, actually, jumping is with my head out of the water. Mm. Okay. Yeah, jumping, jumping out of the canoe. Oh, jumping out of the canoe is mm -hmm. amazing, but it's probably the waterfall. <laughs> the waterfall. Now we're going to go. Water slide, waterfall. <gasps> we're going to go. Amazing. Mm hmm. Now we're going to go find some showers clean up, get some clean clothes on, and uh, yeah, it's been fun. Bye. Find some sour. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.